Uh, in the case of embryonic stem cell research, the way the, uh, the stem cells are obtained by taking stem cells from the early embryo, that kills the embryo. So essentially I'm being asked, can I take a part of someone to kill that someone in order to save someone else? And the answer, just like taking your parts, is no. Again, that, that gets back to why we make this comparison during the Holocaust. Uh, the, Nazis, the Nazis did medical experimentation on Jews to try to help uh, their, their own people. But we would say, no, what you're doing is harming someone to help another, that's wrong. Now having said that, that doesn't mean, again, nothing can be done. There is adult stem cell research. Uh, embryonic, um, not embryonic, the, the placenta, the umbilical cord blood, uh, my, my skin cells, these are rich in stem cells. And by obtaining these from my body, you don't kill me. So therefore, adult stem cell research is very good and should be encouraged. Embryonic stem cell research, research kills and therefore should be discouraged. And let me tell you this, and don't take my word for it, hop on the internet and, and, and look at all the resources on this. There has been no success, there has been no success with embryonic stem cell research. There has been great success with adult stem cell research. So don't take my word for it, spend the time researching it, but uh, the point is, even if there was no success with adult stem cell research, and there was great success with embryonic stem cell research, you'd still be killing someone to help someone. And if you say that's okay, then we can kill you to take your organs to help someone else, and I don't think we probably want to live in a world like that. Uh, wherever Sarah is, next question. Okay, so you address the whole uh, potential for life deems that thing to live and justifies it for its existence. Is that correct? No. It's not the potential for life that the unborn have. It's that they're actually alive. So uh, the unborn are not potential human beings, but human beings with great potential. Uh, the unborn are potential adults, like a two-year-old is a potential adult, but a two-year-old is still an actual human being. And biologically, by having human parents, that zygote is an actual human being, not a potential human being. He's just a younger version of someone in our species. All of us once were a zygote. Next question. Next question. One way or the other. It doesn't matter, just go to him. Maybe if you've got someone here, then go back to this guy, he has a follow-up question. Well, you can take that one because you're there, and then when you're when you're done there, we'll we'll come back to this.